Hi guys and welcome back to my channel slash welcome to my channel. I know it's been so long since I've made a makeup video but I think we can all just say 2020 was a year to just scratch out and 2021 we're gonna just start it off differently. So I am back and I wanted to give you guys my current favorite makeups, must-haves that you cannot live without, personally what I can't live without and maybe you guys want to add to your collection, and also just a whole bunch of favorites that I use throughout 2020 and that I absolutely swear by. So if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and if you have been here for a while, thank you for just coming back. I've missed you guys so much. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go into 2021 making more videos and give you guys more content. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, like I said, subscribe and make sure to like this video below here. I am so sorry that I've been gone for like I don't know like most of 2020 I started my YouTube off very strong in 2020 and I did it you know through February through April and honestly after April I just fell off of it like I just stopped I just lost all motivation if I'm being honest there was a lot of things that happened, well, in the world. Truthfully, we all know that. And there was just a lot of stuff that happened in my personal life that, I don't know, I just didn't want to sit down in front of the camera and act like everything was okay, even though I feel like we do that so much just in general. But I just couldn't really sit down and make YouTube videos because I just feel like doing makeup for me is really fun and I think I was going to start making them really where they weren't myself so I just didn't even try and then I have no excuses but I just feel like I owe you guys an explanation by the way guys I completely took away the backdrop behind me because first of all it was a pain in the butt to set up and second off like I don't know my room is pretty cute and girly so I'm like ah we can just leave it in the background I don't feel like having a backdrop right now that could change and stuff like that but it was sort of a big pain in the butt because it was like a huge like stand that would go all the way across and then it would start hitting I have jewelry to the side of me here it would hit all of that and they would all fall off the shelf and then like I'm, I'm filming in my room and my room is pretty small so I don't know it just it was chaos so i'm starting off with something different here hope it's okay hopefully it's not too distracting so my plan for my first video of 2021 was just to go through my favorite products of last year slash like my current favorites and products that i just love and i haven't told you guys about since it's obviously been so long and just products that i really swear by and i love i actually when i was setting up all these products before filming today realize that I have so many products to talk about so I'm really sorry if this video is long and I'm sorry if I'm a little nervous I just it's hard getting back into the swing of something so I'm gonna try to go in order of everything so it doesn't get too confusing so I'm gonna start off with my favorite primers um honestly it's all from the same brand I was going through my drawer of primers and there was I don't know I have a lot of makeup a lot of makeup so I have a lot of basically everything in every category but I thought about the ones that I use the most and I love 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 the brand touch and soul it's awesome I personally love almost everything that I've ever tried by them this is the no pore from primer it's really hard to say it's like a tongue twister and this is the icy sherbet primer and I just got this one it's really good so it's just like a container and it looks like that. It's really nice. And I also have this one as well. And this is called the No Pore Blonde. Pore. 
the No Problem Prime Essence. Now prime my face with a little bit of this one here. And it goes on kind of feeling cold, but I guess that's part of the name where it says Icy Sherbet Primer. This one is really good for helping any pores that you're trying to like fix and correct. And then this one is just very hydrating. I have the hardest time finding foundations that I love and I swear by that fits my whole category that everything from A to Z of everything that I like in a foundation. But over the summer, I found one that I seriously like am obsessed with and I get so many compliments when I put it on my skin and every time I wear it, people are like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? And I don't know, I just feel like this one makes my skin the best that it's ever looked and it is by ColourPop. It is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This is amazing. I also, of course, love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tint Moisturizer. Now this is good just for like a basic, you know, simple, throw your makeup on a couple minutes. I actually did a video on that foundation. I think it was called my five minute makeup routine. I feel like I get the most use out of the ColourPop foundation. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm taking my ColourPop sponge. Also, I've realized that I have a lot of tools, a lot of brushes, etc. But I've noticed that my favorite tool that I've been loving to just use is a sponge. You can use a beauty blender. I used to spend like the $20, $25, whatever they are on a beauty blender, but you can find much cheaper options for sponges. I mean, you don't even need to spend the extra money. I mean, you can seriously find sponges of all price ranges and I feel like you just gotta find the ones that you love. So I love the ColourPop ones. I just dampened it. Um, so it's just a little bit damp, but not much. I don't like my sponges dripping wet. Um, I like to squeeze them out and then actually wrap a piece of toilet paper around them to just kind of soak up the extra moisture. So I'm taking a little bit of the foundation. I usually just do one pump and start with that. Now this foundation is very glowy. I love how it looks on my skin because of that reason. Um, it gives really good coverage too. I would say it's about a medium full foundation depending how you build it up you can always use less and just get a lighter look but I definitely like the more full coverage look if I'm going to be doing my makeup so I just like to pat that all in into my skin until I like the results sometimes I'll go in there with a, another pump if I need an extra layer of coverage but I think this looks pretty nice I've sort of switched up my makeup routine how I like to do my face that is i've been using a lot of cream products like a cream bronzer and a cream blush basically because i feel like when you wear a mask these days every time you put powder on i just feel like by the end or halfway through that you're wearing a mask it ends up looking really cakey and it starts coming off obviously i know a powder helps set your makeup so in that aspect i don't have really a way that's mask proof quite yet but I don't know if there even is a way, but so I've been using a lot of cream products. So I'm going to show you guys two bronzers that I've really liked throughout last year. So I've been using just a stick foundation actually for my bronzer and I've been using the Makeup Revolution stick in the shade F13. It is pretty dark, so I can't really go too heavy handed with it. But I just, you know, bronze up my face a little bit with that and I blend it out with my sponge. Bronzers are somewhat a love-hate thing for me. I don't always have the best result with bronzers. Sometimes they look really orange on my skin or sometimes they blend out really patchy for me. But if I'm doing like a powder look, I always go in and I've showed this on camera before. It is just a favorite. I tried to pick out something different, but I honestly couldn't. So I like to use the Becca Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer. This one is a really good one. It just has a nice glow. Clearly, you can tell I made a dent on it. So this part looks a little crazy and I mean, it kind of looks terrifying when you do it. So I just really try to go light-handed with it. I just got it on my skin 
just around the temples, the hairline, and the cheekbones here. And I just go in with the same sponge and I just blend it out. Once it starts looking crazy, just go ahead and use your sponge where you have the foundation still on there and just clean it up with that. And for blushes, I have also, like I said, been using a lot of cream blushes and I've been loving, loving, loving the ColourPop blush sticks. I swear this isn't sponsored by ColourPop, but if ColourPop ever were to see this, I would so love to be sponsored by them because I am obsessed with them. Everything I use is a lot of ColourPop, so I'm sorry. But the two shades that I've been loving the most is Invite Only and Cool It. Invite Only is a little deeper of a blush color and Cool It is definitely more of like a just a basic pink color and also my ride or die blush favorite blushes ever are the Alamar Cosmetics blush trios. I have two different shades of them. I think this is one of my most used blushes as you can tell this is the shade fair light i have used this so so much and i also ordered the medium tan shade as well but these blushes are so good they have a little bit of sheen in them so when you put them on either over powder or just regular cream foundation when you put them on i swear they just blend out perfectly i never ever ever have an issue with these blushes I actually show you guys using the fair light palette and also i think i should give a mention that the best brushes that i have found ever are the luxie brushes they are simply amazing i have quite a few of luxie brushes they are definitely my favorite when i think about my favorite brushes to use on my eyes and my face it's the luxie ones they are just fabulous and they are a an affordable brush price range usually i just end up dipping into all of them but i think i'm gonna just dip a lot more into the pink tap it out and i just stamp it on my face just like that but I just love, love, love how that blush always looks on my skin here. Oh my gosh, I just totally messed up my steps here. <laughs> I meant to put on concealer before I put on powder here, so I'm just gonna put a little concealer under my eyes and try not to get it on the powder. I hope this doesn't get messed up, but I honestly don't use too much concealer. Sometimes if I use too much concealer, it can look really cakey on my skin, so again, I'm going to be going in with another ColourPop favorite. This one is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It's not new. It's been around for a while, but to me, it's one of the best concealers, in my opinion. I've gotten a lot of people hooked on them, and every time somebody asks me, like, what's your favorite concealer? I swear, swear by the ColourPop concealers. It doesn't give, like, a overly full um, concealing or whatever, but it just gives it, like, a nice... I don't know, like a nice coverage, but not over the top. Not like tart shape tape where it's too thick. To me, that concealer looks awful. I don't know how that one is so famous, but you know, this one is just a nice one. It's not too sheer of a coverage, but it's just really easy. So I just put a little bit under my eyes. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of my nose and chin if I'm trying to go for a really full look, but I just do a little like that. I've really settled down with how much concealer I use because I don't think I need too much of it. Like I said, you can put a little on the nose, maybe a little right here, and then some here. And then I just blend it out with the same sponge. And then I always end up setting just under my eyes with the concealer so it doesn't crease. Like I said, I've been hating the powdery looks as of recent. I've just been leaving my skin pretty much dewy looking or just kind of like without setting too much of my face so but I am going to set underneath my eyes and this is definitely not a new powder this has been around for a long time but it's the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Fairlight I just take a little bit of this and then I dip my sponge directly in it because I feel like if I use a brush with setting my under eyes it gets very very cakey so I just take a little bit of that under my eyes here 
And feel free if you are a powder person to just set your whole face. Sometimes I'll set around my lip area and then a little bit on the chin. But other than that, I really don't set too much more. My highlight category is a little extreme because I feel like highlighter is one of my favorite categories. But since we're on the topic of powder also, I have recently picked up the Jaclyn Hill um, do me luminous powder. So I know she mentioned in her videos that this is like used, you can use it as like a setting powder or if you want like a bare minimum highlight. So I've kind of been doing both. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of it today. Honestly, you can take this pretty much anywhere if you want a little bit more of a dewy look and not so powdery. So I'm just gonna bring it in right through here. So you can see it just gives you the most subtle glow but it's stunning so you can really put it anywhere where you feel like your face is dry which my skin is definitely more on the dry side do you guys ever see that one girl on tiktok where she just like pours basically like a whole bottle of foundation in her skin and she rubs it in and then she like it ends up looking really good i don't know if that's like stage or how much foundation she ends up using but like it's kind of crazy, but if I did anything like that where I put a bunch of foundation and a bunch of concealer on, I would look like a cakey mess. So I just, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like online it's just too far. It's not really realistic. In the highlight category, I'm going to give a, another shout out to Jacqueline for her um, highlighting palette that she created. I want to say it was last year. It is just stunning. It is just beautiful. I like to use all the shades in here. This just gives a beautiful, stunning glow. For something a heck of a lot more affordable, you can get the ColourPop highlighters. Those are so amazing. The Super Shock highlighters. I love, love, love the Ofra highlighters. This is like a huge staple in my collection. A seriously favorite one of mine is the Artist Couture diamond glow powder so it is a loose powder so stunning if you want like a really beautiful glow that doesn't look like you're wearing a bunch of powder on your skin i was using this a lot during the summer like i would just put like a fast makeup on and i'd have like nice tan skin and i would put on this diamond highlighter like all over my cheeks all over my face and i just feel like i was just looking so glowy and i just i love 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 these so if you've never tried these these are amazing they have a bunch of different shades this is in the shade illuminati i have i want to say two other shades of this one but they are seriously gorgeous before i put on any highlighter on my face usually i like to go in and spray my face with a setting spray and then go ahead and put on my highlighter just because i feel like once you have some powder on your face i know you can start looking a lot more matte so i'm just gonna grab some setting spray here i've been using a lot of the fourth ray do it hydrating hyaluronic mist this stuff is amazing if you just want something that sets your makeup but also gives you like a hydrating glow i mean this stuff is awesome and the mist i don't even have to say anything the mist is just in itself terrific also this one is definitely not new but it's the catrice prime and fine um dewy glow fixing spray this stuff is great i ordered like I don't know, like five or six bottles of this at a time because I was scared that it was going to run out. So if that tells you anything about that. And this actually might surprise you guys, but I had never tried the Urban Decay All Nighter until I want to say, I don't know, a couple months ago because I just needed something that would set my makeup like while I'm at work, while I'm wearing a mask for like eight, nine hours. And this stuff is actually really good. I will use this too. If I go out somewhere and I need my makeup to last, um, I was always kind of on the fence about like spending the extra money to get something that really works to keep your makeup on. So this stuff is great. I just like to usually use like a dewier mist. So I will put the like a dewier mist setting spray on before. I'm gonna set my face here. And if this doesn't scream, I'm trying to be an influencer. I don't know what does, but yeah, I'm just gonna set 
set my face here. You see that gave my face just a little bit of glow there. So I am going to take my highlighter and place that on my face while my face is still, I don't know, damp. You don't want to go in when your face is just sprayed because you can actually pick up a lot of your foundation with it. So I like to wait until my face is basically dry but still has a little bit of dampness if that makes sense so i'm taking my all-time favorite highlighter brush this is the morphe m38 brush i use this brush all year long and i probably had it for quite some time but i am going to dip into the jaclyn hill shades here like i said i got the lightest palette here so i'm just going to dip in the first two shades here and basically put this all over my face well, basically just like on the higher points of my face where you want to highlight. Uh, yeah, sometimes people say that they don't like the appearance of highlighter, but I absolutely love it. To me, I just, I love to look like a dripping donut here. Let's talk about eyebrows. Um, I have not changed up my brow routine at all because I have found only my Holy Grail products and there's a lot of brow products that release, but I cannot seem to step away from my true diehard products. So I always, always, always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. That's pretty much no surprise. Um, and I love the Brow Gel Eyebrow Gel. Just a clear brow gel to set my brows. And recently in my BoxyCharm, you can't even see, it's all worn off, but this is the Benefit Gimme Brow, just like same deal as the brow gel. Um, I had always heard really good things about this, but I had never tried it. So then when I got it in my BoxyCharm, it gave me a chance to try it out and I really, really, really love it. I don't remember what shade I have. I think I have the shade three, so it is a brown. And it just, if I don't feel like doing my whole eyebrows I just want to like put a little quick thing through my brows I'll always go in with this and I've been loving it so I'll probably end up ordering another one of this as well but I'm just going to fill my brows in really quick here and this part is super boring so I'll just skip right through it okay brows are on hopefully those look even I don't know some days I feel like my brows look the same and then sometimes I'm just like why don't they why don't they but i mean i was always taught in beauty school eyebrows are sisters not twins sometimes i feel like mine are cousins but it's whatever so i'm just setting my brows with that benefit give me a brow so before we go into actual eyeshadow, I'm just going to prime my eyes. So I have two favorites that I've been using. Um, you guys have seen me use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer on screen here a lot of the times. I like to do this if I'm doing like a dramatic eyeshadow look and I need my look to stay like all day, all night long. This stuff is like basically glue. You have to put this on and let it sit on your eyes for like 10 minutes and keep pressing it in before it's like where you can go in and do any makeup. That's my best way I found of using this primer because I feel like if you just go in on top of this primer automatically with eyeshadow, you can get a lot of skipping. So make sure if you're using the Fenty Beauty one, it's bomb, but just make sure it's completely set before going in and doing your eyeshadow. But I have been loving, loving, loving the Pretty Vulgar, I guess, eyeshadow primer. That's all it says is the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to prime my eyes with that. And also for this primer, I like to let it sit in my eyes for, I don't know, a couple minutes. That way you also don't get any skipping with your eyeshadow. Okay, and what did you guys think about last year for eyeshadow palettes? I feel like there wasn't like too many eyeshadow palettes that were released, probably because, you know, with 2020, I don't know how easy it was to make makeup or what the deal was, but I feel like there wasn't a lot of eyeshadows created that were new. So I feel like the ones that I use the most 
last year and just currently ones that I just always dabble into have been around for a little bit. I mean, I guess I want to say within like 2019 and 2020, like certain palettes, like that's all I've been currently using. But I don't know. I, I'm not opposed to really any eyeshadow palettes. I'm really not picky. That is probably the one thing I have the most of and everyone who's been in my room they can attest that I am a eyeshadow an eyeshadow hoe I literally have so many of them guys I really have so many so I can't really say what are my favorites but I'll show you guys ones that I just always grab into I got asked what my favorite eyeshadow palette was on Instagram the other day and it is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. It's not new. It was made 2019 and I, I it doesn't even look like I've used a lot of it but I use this palette all the time. If I just want a sparkly look, if I just want a all matte look, like this is the palette to use and I also really miss Tati. I feel like I've been gone from YouTube as long as Tati has been gone and I just I, I really miss her and I hope she comes back just saying. Another palette that I've been obsessed with that's also not new is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights Colourpop palette. It's amazing. I love all the shades in here. I seriously use the blues in here quite a lot if I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look so that's probably what I'll do today. Just something fast just something easy for today's look nothing extreme because it's not like an eyeshadow video but just something i can throw on and look nice for i suppose and then the jaclyn hill palette was released this year the volume 2 palette i made a video on this bad boy it is gorgeous i love the shades in here she is awesome definitely a favorite youtuber i'm obsessed with her clearly all those just dropped on the ground give a shout out to Natasha Denona's palettes. I got this in my BoxyCharm this year as well and I use these colors a lot during the fall. Um, yeah, they're a little bit pricier of a eyeshadow palette for five shades but these colors are amazing. The matte shades, they do not disappoint. They are very great and I feel like this was a very easy wearable palette like if you want to just do some browns with a little bit of sparkle you can if you want to incorporate some color you definitely can so I know that she has a lot of these palettes that are definitely not new but there's a lot of shades of these and I don't know I really 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 like these so I'll probably end up picking more up of these and also did you guys see that ColourPop made you know like their version of the Natasha Denona palettes just I want to say within this last week last two weeks they released there so I kind of want to order one I don't really need any more eyeshadows but I kind of just want to see if they're comparable I'm just gonna quickly jump through this part just because this is not like really an eyeshadow tutorial but I'm just gonna probably use a good majority of the so jaded palette on my eyes here eyes are on I just have not put on mascara yet but I did put on some eyeliner and I wanted to tell you guys about the Marc Jacobs highliner pencils these are definitely more expensive eyeliners but they are amazing 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 sometimes I almost can't get them off my eyes at the end of the night when I even use my oil to take off my makeup and I wash my face sometimes I still can't get it off so if you're looking for an amazing eyeliner that just hangs on and has a crap ton of shades try out the Marc Jacobs one I just use the shade overnight the blue one on my waterline and I also tight lined so of course have been loving the ColourPop eyeliners those are all amazing I have tons of shades of them here are a few. I know this yellow one looks crazy, but in the summer, 
I used a lot of this shade because yellow is one of my favorite colors. Also, my favorite diehard black eyeliner is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. And they also make a Wet n Wild Breakup Proof uh, Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't always been wearing, you know, liquid liner on the top because, I don't know, I sometimes just don't like the look of it. I just like to do like an eyeshadow look and put on mascara and or put on lashes. But if I'm looking for like a dramatic look, I will use these eyeliners here. Yet another classic favorite for me is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Eyeliner. Basically it's the same, it just has like the felt tip pencil as well as the Wet n Wild one. I like using these the best because they're not flimsy and they can just put the eyeliner on without having to be too messy, which eyeliner is already messy enough itself, but I cannot tell you guys how much the Essence mascaras are so, so, so good. I think they're like three or four dollars. I always go in with the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer before going in, and my two favorites are the purple and green ones. The green one I think is called the False Lash Effect one. I don't know, I use it so much that I wore it off, but I have a backup in my vanity here. And then I also go in with the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. Yes, I use two mascaras. I usually go in with the green one first, and then I use the purple one over it. And then I usually use, I don't know, it just depends on my mood, the green one or purple one on my bottom lash line. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure your lashes are nice and coated with this beforehand. I honestly feel like this makes a major difference in the mascara. And you can obviously use this lash primer with any mascara you want. And boom, mascara is on. If you guys haven't tried out the Essence mascara, you are totally missing out. I would highly recommend you guys checking them out. Honestly, I have raved about these on my channel, probably in every video, and I still rave about them. Anytime anyone asks me about a favorite mascara, it is absolutely these bad boys. It just makes such a difference having like a good mascara that works. Okay, so last thing to talk about is lipstick. I think that's my last step in this very long video. I am sorry guys if you've made it this far. It is a lengthy video, but I don't want to forget any of them because you guys might miss out on some gems. Um, so actually I'm going to let you guys know about a lip balm that is so, so, so good. It's by 4.3 Beauty again. It's just an overnight lip mask, but you can use this, you know, throughout the whole day. It is heavier. It is very similar to the Laneige lip mask, uh, but it is amazing if you have chap lips, which it's the winter. I feel like my lips get so chapped. Um, it is great and it's not anywhere near the price of a regular Laneige lip mask or something extremely high priced like this. I think I got a set of three and I paid maybe $12. So I don't know. I think you can buy them separately too, but I just got like a pack of three and they are amazing. All of them. Lip liners, I don't really steer away from anything but ColourPop. I just got this box of lippy pencils for Christmas and I have, you know, a ton of them as well. I have a whole jar behind me here on my vanity table with the ColourPop lip pencils. Those are just amazing. Um, I do love, now this is a very expensive brand, the Pat McGrath lip pencils but Kathleen Lights raves about these and yeah they are definitely true to what they say. They are a very lasting lip pencil. I just don't always feel like spending I don't know I think this was like 30 bucks for a lip pencil but it did come with a sharpener so I have to say that's awesome because I use that sharpener all the time the Pat McGrath sharpener but I have the shade contour and that is just an amazing shade but good luck getting your hands on some of the very popular shades because they're never on stock in like Sephora, like they're never in stock. So I don't know. Again, I feel like I am a ColourPop junkie, but everything they have is just so, 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 so good. I think a lip pencil is like six bucks and usually you can get them on sale or 
they do like deals like this where they put them in a box i don't know you just cannot go wrong with them so i'm gonna use those lip liners and then lipstick i have a probably definite addiction to lipsticks i should probably show you guys my lipstick drawer but it's very unorganized there are so many lipsticks in there it's kind of embarrassing how many lipsticks are in there but i'm just gonna go in with a color pop lipstick today those are by far my favorite ones the matte lipsticks are my favorite this is also just a set i got for christmas so it was just easier to show you guys versus pulling out my basket of lipsticks in my vanity drawer also i love the morphe lipsticks as well the essence lipsticks are also amazing too they're a bullet lipstick so they're a little bit more on the shinier side i love those maybe i'll use one of these today too on top of a matte lip because i don't always like a matte lip i sometimes like something a little more shiny so i'm just going to go in with a very basic shade from ColourPop. it's the bff liner and i do overline my lips uh i wish i had some lip injections but I'm a little limp and I have a very tiny lips so if you're wondering why the lips look a lot bigger welcome to overdrawing your lips it is one of my favorite tricks in the book not even though we're not really showing off our lips with a mask um I wear lipstick every single day even when I'm wearing a mask because it just makes me feel like totally put together once I put my lipstick on I just feel I don't know, I feel 100% complete. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like this really goes to show that we, mer we wear makeup for ourselves, not for anyone else. And even if it's underneath a mask, at least we're, I don't know, it makes you just feel a lot better. I'm just going to go in with the shade Fuego from ColourPop. And then I'm just going to take that Essence lipstick here in the shade Loyal and just put it right in the middle of my lips here. And I'm just going to set my face with the All Nighter Urban Decay Spray. And yeah, guys, that completes this makeup look. I just want to do something simple to show you guys what I've been loving all year of 2020 and just showing you my current favorite makeup, which I know there's a lot. And there's probably a lot more I can include too. But I just went through all my makeup on just what I loved and what I would recommend to all of you guys, um, really no matter what your skin type is, just an all over general range of makeup that I love. Um, so thank you guys for, you know, just, I guess, riding it out until I came back. Um, I do plan on sticking with it and making more videos in the future here. So let me know if there's anything that you guys wanna see. I think I'm gonna incorporate some like lifestyle things in here too so it's not just makeup i want to do like hauls of like different places that i shop from or maybe just like some vlogs with my dog my friends i don't know just i want to show you guys more of just makeup which makeup is certainly my life and i don't know i just want to bring you guys and show you different parts of my life that make up who I am and maybe, I don't know, maybe incorporate some hair vlogs in there. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I want to just start somewhere and basically recreate my YouTube. So thank you all that have watched me from the start and thank you guys who have started watching me once again and thank you for watching this video as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to just see where we go from here on out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support since day one. And I really wanted to come back because of you guys. So thank you for watching and stay tuned until next time.